welcome to Nottingham, a city steeped in history and full of amazing places to discover. From the lore of Robin Hood, from Bohemian quarters to historic pubs, come along with us as we explore the food, history, and culture of this vibrant city. Kicking our day off at a local's favorite, Donuts is known for their incredibly tasty and very unique donut creations. Also, our friend told us to get here early because I guess they uh, sell out pretty quickly. Apparently, if you come at opening on Wednesday, you're fine. There's nobody else here. <laughs> They had so many incredible looking choices in there that it was hard to choose. Although Jeremy said he either wanted the Jammy Dodger one or the Biscoff one, and they didn't have the Jammy Dodger one, so that made his choice better for him or easier. I ended up getting us uh, two of their fancier ones and then two of their minis. These are like the kid kids ones that they're doing, I think for a limited time. But we're gonna be able to try some of the classic flavors that are uh, local favorites in addition to the fancier ones. <laughs> that one has, I, I'm assuming, is like an Oreo cookie crumble I'm on it. I'm assuming with the blue icing for Mr. Cookie Monster. Probably my favorite Sesame Street character. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's very nice. I'm pretty sure that is like an Oreo crumble on top and the donut's got a nice chew to it. It's just really good, yeah. And I, of course, went with the, the red velvet one. This one was the one that was the most intriguing to me. They have these in the larger sizes, but I was like, well, I can get a fancy one and we can get two little ones and then it'll be better, right? <laughs> It's just a really nice quality donut, pretty standard donut, but that like red velvet cake crumble on top makes it just like, ooh, extra delicious. This is a salted toffee Berliner. Um, I asked the person working what he recommended and he gave me two recommendations and this one sounded better of the two. So I'm excited to give it a whirl. Seems intense. Always trust the people that are working at the place. They usually know what they're talking about. This is an excellent donut. Mm -hmm. The thing that I think that I've come to terms with while I've been here in the UK is that I love like Biscoff Lotus biscuits and this just sounded really good. That's such a nice combination. The donuts are really good quality, but that flavor of the Biscoff with that is just lovely. The pigeons are moving in. <laughs> They're like, we love donuts too. Nottingham or Notting ham, as, as Americans like to call it, is a place that I have wanted to go for a really long time. And that's probably because of uh, all of the, the Robin Hood movies that I watched as a kid, especially Robin Hood Men in Tights. Walking around the city, there are just little touches of Robin Hood everywhere. But the thing that I am just kind of blown away by is how massive this city really is. And maybe that's kind of a naive thing, but you know, like when all you know is like, lore from the medieval times and then you come here and it's like a bustling modern city it's a little bit different than i expected but i do enjoy it and i also enjoy that they have plenty of robin hood experiences for us including the robin hood experience <laughs> it seems fitting that the robin hood experience is right outside of the nottingham castle which unfortunately is closed right now i guess it went into liquidation and it closed in 2022 and they're probably going to reopen it soon but not at this time unfortunately and hey the robin hood statue is outside of the castle so that's a win for me he does not look like a cartoon <laughs> fox and i am offended <laughs> He does not look like Carrie Elwes, and I am offended. <laughs> I thought this was like Maid Marian with the luscious hair <laughs> until I saw a mustache. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe she had a mustache. Friar Tuck, I presume. He looks like you should rub his head. He looks like people have rubbed his head for good luck. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but it looks like it should be based on his... Give him a his, nice little pat. Give him a good pat. <laughs> I'm not even really sure what to expect. I saw pictures of like Robin Hood mannequins on lines, but there is a sign here that has frequently asked questions like, what is it? And it is apparently an exciting interactive adventure back in time. So let's travel back in time right now with some mannequins. <laughs> Oh 
Oh no, we have to see the sheriff next. I want to see the sheriff. The sheriff of Rottingham. <laughs> I have to go to room three. I like that this is an old, old house though. It yeah. makes it kind of fun. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, I have to go first. Fine. I don't like it. Please try <laughs> I turn these around on. and Jeremy's got a weird helmet on. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh, this one looks like um, like it reminds me of the one. Holy I'm, Grail. Yeah, where he flips his Merely little piece up. Moon. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one I want, but I'm not gonna put that on. Are you a knight who says me? It's merely a flesh wound. <laughs> oh man, it's merely a flesh wound. That is okay. That's a thing. <laughs> we finally get to see Robin Hood. Ah. Oh, it smells so lovely in this one. It smells like baked goods or something. <laughs> Where the first room smelled like fire. Oh my goodness. That is scary. Yep, terrifying. <laughs> we found the arts and crafts room. Ooh, we can color Robin Hood. Or the Sheriff of Nottingham. Oh, Little John. Little John. How fun. Maid Marian. Dexter, age nine. <laughs> Arthur, 26. Perfect. He did a really good job. Good old big hands clapping too loud. <laughs> unexpected surprise all the Robin Hood memorabilia how fun Jeremy was just telling me that the Kevin Costner Robin Hood had this playset that was essentially the uh, Endor playset from Star Wars but they repurposed it and yep sure, sure enough <laughs> that's it how fun that is such a neat one But where's the Robin Hood men in tight stuff? I loved the Robin Hood experience. It was about 15 pounds for the two of us. And I thought, you know, it didn't take very long, but I thought it was very entertaining. And thinking of things through the scope of our friends that had their kid with us here recently, uh, their daughter would have loved this because it was very interactive. Maybe your verdict is a little different from mine. No, I thought it was pretty fun for what it was, I think. We're kind of always on the lookout for these sort of weird roadside-y attractions like we would find at home, and I think this fits that bill. Yes. It's really fun, it's a little cheesy, but I would totally do it again. One place that you have to come to in Nottingham, and one of the places I'm the most excited about is Ye old Trip to Jerusalem. Not only does this pub claim to be the oldest inn in England, but you can also drink a pint in a pub that is a part of Nottingham's cave system. So we have to do that. There's a sign right here that says that the reference uh, of trip is like a stop on your journey. So this place was a stop on your way to Jerusalem. That's the sound that means it's time we can go in. It's 11 a.m. All the church bells in the city are ringing. <laughs> so cool in here. I think we found the best spot in the house. It's this little cubby hole that's like right inside of a little cave. And there's this glass ceiling where you can, uh, if you're upstairs, you can see down into it. It's just really cool. I love it. Jeremy got us two, two dark beers. So um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna enjoy better, but I'll give them each a whirl. No? When my choices are two dark beers, I don't really want either one of them. Well, I'll go get you something different. Okay. I didn't realize <laughs> they were both dark when I picked it's them. fine. Thanks for getting me something. <laughs> I decided after Jeremy got me a new pair that I only wanted half of a pint. So Jeremy's two and a half beer Jeremy today. <laughs> That place is so cool, and I can now say that I had a pint in a cave.
We found the street where the people cooler than us get their clothes. Fair. I'm not nearly as cool as these stores, I think. Nottingham has the biggest network of caves in the UK. I think there are over 800 in total underneath the city. We were going to uh, go down into them, to the city of caves, but unfortunately we found out that it is not dog friendly. So instead, we have come to a place called Ned Ludd. This was recommended by um, a friend of ours who we are actually gonna meet up with tomorrow. He said that we had to try a local dish, so that's what we're here to do. I got the Nottingham pie, which is a braised beef with gravy and a puff pastry with mash and stilton. I mean, steak and stilton, you got me right there. But I haven't had it in a puff pastry, and this looks really good. I like the mash and the uh, puff pastry with it. I've always had the steak and stilton and just a regular pie crust, and that's really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. I got buffalo chicken. Well, I think we're going to share this. Uh, buffalo chicken and blue cheese on some tater tots, loaded tots. And I also got the starter side of the um, jerk, chicken. jerk chicken. Yes, thank you. I almost forgot what I ordered. It all looks really lovely. Chicken is really crispy. Mmm. This is not the local Nottingham dish, but it's also just as amazing. <laughs> so good. Yeah, that jerk chicken is really flavorful. Not only was that a hearty, tasty meal, but also learned that Ned Ludd was uh, a legend, I guess kind of like Robin Hood. He allegedly lived in the Sherwood Forest and was the founder of the Luddites. So that's kind of a cool little uh, homage. I love how earlier we walked like all the way around to avoid walking in this uh, tram road and everyone just crosses here. It is also really interesting to see how busy Old Market Square is now comparative to when we got here this morning. <laughs> yeah. Bustling definitely seems like a more appropriate word to describe it now. We are a hot mess today. I think between me getting a migraine and Jeremy rolling his ankle twice now, as we got to the neighborhood of Hockley, we decided let's just head back to our hotel. We will go there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're calling it an early day. We will see you tomorrow. Good morning. We have spent the morning walking around Nottingham. We met up with uh, a friend of ours who's a local who graciously offered to show us around. Walking through Hockley, the lace market, uh, he showed us the St. Mary's Church. We've just learned so much about the history uh, from him because he just knows a lot about the area and it's been fascinating. Now he's taking us to a Victorian cave that is hidden away in the city and you would never know that it was here, except that he knows that it's here. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. I love that this is a cool little cave and you would never know, it's so unassuming. If I told you that this leads to an epic Victorian tunnel, would you believe me? Our friend recommended that we come out to Woolerton Hall and Park, which is this spectacular Elizabethan mansion and this vast park in the city of Nottingham. Woolerton Hall itself is this stunning, stately home that now houses Nottingham's Natural History Museum. There are all kinds of exhibits from fossils to uh, ta a lot of taxidermy. They even have a T-Rex named Titus. And it was all in Batman's house. Yeah, <laughs> apparently it's the house from the Dark Knight, so that's exciting. The grounds itself is probably the thing I'm the most excited about though, because there are deer all just roaming around. We have come full circle back to our hotel where we started our morning. And we have to continue our journey here in Nottingham because there are some things that we wanted to see that we have not yet. So we will see you tomorrow. Oh, okay, since you're hiding from, from me, what's the joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Robin. Robin who? Robin the rich to feed the poor. Oh. <laughs> Good one. Good 
Good morning from the Sherwood Forest. It is our last full day in Nottingham. We will be heading back into the city uh, after we visit here, but we thought we couldn't come here without seeing the Sherwood Forest. And just, just so you know, if you're planning to come here, it's kind of confusing. Like the visitor center's over there, the car park's over there. There's not really like a clear path that's like, go here, get, get to the visitor center from here. I don't know. It's confusing to me, but we'll figure it out. So I think that is the visitor center across the way there. And there's just a, a cricket pitch here, I, I guess. Carly and her dad walking through the forest. Carly's not laughing because she's on her lead. Now that we saw signs indicating where we are, I can yeah. be excited. We're in the Sherwood Forest. We are in the Sherwood Forest. I am so excited about this. Okay, I'm a little confused by this whole situation. Major Oak Trail is this way. Major Oak is a half mile this way, but also Major Oak is a half mile this way. It says this way, Major Oak half mile. But then the other side of the sign says, Giant's Trail to the Major Oak. It's like, do all trails lead to the Major Oak? I feel like even these signs are confusing. Yeah. Like we finally found signs and even those are confusing. Yeah, they're not really helpful. <laughs> Just stopped and asked some people and they said that this is a loop and that's why it says that that i guess we must be sort of equal distance from it both going both directions okay at least that's clear now that's neat they have these little post markers for some of the trees with names and so neat it has a name it's moaning mabel we came to sherwood forest because of the legend of robin hood but what i didn't expect is that we would see such an incredible forest. Like this is probably some of the most unique looking trees I've ever seen, wouldn't you say? And we're not even to the major oak yeah. yet. <laughs> some of them are kind of creepy almost, but they're pretty. Yeah, they're creepy. And like almost the cooler looking ones are some of the ones that have like are dead or like dying. D yeah. Or like have decay. They're just so fascinating. They all look so different and unusual. Yeah, very neat. The major oak really is major. I don't know if it translates on video how enormous that trunk really is. Part of the legend of Robin Hood is that he and his merry men would hang out in the major oak and seeing it in person, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. You could probably hide a bunch of people in there. I guess it's like 800 to 1,000 years old. It is pretty wild. Isn't that? There's so many structures holding it up at this point. <laughs> I mean, poor old thing. I mean, if I was 800 years old, I'd need structures holding me up too. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Did not realize that they had all these picnic tables out. You could have a nice picnic here with a view of this old guy. But yeah, it's just really neat. I mean, it's probably the most iconic part of the Sherwood Forest and it makes sense. It's a very, very enormous neat tree. Definitely recommend coming and seeing it in person if you have the opportunity. Looking at the sign for the tree over there, which was saying that the canopy, the top part, is 28 meters across. Wow. And that the root system is four times that and can reach out to the picnic tables out there. When we first arrived, the visitor center wasn't open yet, um, but it's definitely open now. I can hear school children in the distance. <laughs> While the visitor center does not have a lot to it, their gift shop is fantastic. <laughs> On the edge of Sherwood Forest is the village of Edwinstow, uh, which all the signs say is Robin Hood's village. It's a very short walk from the car park in the visitor center to St. Mary's Church, which is allegedly where Robin Hood and Maid Marian were married. Although I think this church is newer, but it's, it's the site. It's the site that counts. The site of a, a legend that probably isn't true. That's, that's what we're going with. You've officially seen Sherwood Forest. Are you ready to go back into the city center? Apparently. Yes, that's probably a yes. Seems like a yes. <laughs> we have come back to the city center because we need to give Hockley, the Bohemian Quarter, a proper tour. The first day we were here, you rolled your ankle. I had a headache. We weren't feeling it. Yeah. The second day, we came back to this area and, and we were too it was early, so basically. Early. Yeah. yeah, everything was closed. <laughs> so now we're here. We're here and things are open. 
Before we explore, I'm hoping I can find a cup of coffee. And I'm hoping I can find it at this little hidden gem called Cobden Chambers. <laughs> Oh no, I wanted to get coffee, but the place that serves it is closed. Uh, this really is a hidden gem though, because it is just this like tranquil little oasis tucked away off of the bustling street outside. And there are all kinds of cute little establishments like a chocolatier and a record store, which is also closed. <laughs> Sorry, Jeremy. From the independent shops, to the trendy restaurants, to the really cool street art. This is just a very fun neighborhood to be a part of, like cool bars and restaurants, just all kinds of things that I want to do, but we can't do it all today. But I think that's the whole thing about Nottingham. It's like, there's so much here. Like there, it's a foodie city. Like there's so many cool food options. There's like so many great places that would be a good place to get a beer that I just want to come back again and again. And this is one of those cities that I definitely feel like I could live here. It's a cool local city, you know? Well, the uh, record store in Cobden Chambers was closed, but there's a rough trade here. You can there go in there. Trade. I might have to for a minute. I never did find that coffee shop. So if you have any recommendations for coffee in Nottingham, let me know because we will definitely be back. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, uh, thanks to our pal Ryan for showing us around. And thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. If you are interested in uh, extra perks like postcards and things, check out the uh, link in the description to our patron Patreon. <laughs> you should also check out our video about Manchester, which will be right here because we had an amazing time there. And although these two cities are very different, I feel like they have my heart in a similar way. We'll see you there at that video.